Hello folks, this is another video from the hard drive hooker, uh, I mean the angry photographer. Um, we're going to learn something today since uh, all your valuable pictures are stored on these suckers. I personally own over 220 some of them that are working, not dead ones like these that have taken apart. I have unquestionably taken apart no less and probably 12 or 1300 hard drives to salvage parts and neodymium iron boron magnets so let's learn about hard drives and by the way the one thing that any expert in hard drives that will tell will tell you is that the more you know about how a hard drive works especially the modern ones the more you are s amazed and stunned that they work at all much less work for even a few years Remember, every hard drive is destined to do one thing. That is, it will stalk you in the middle of the night, and its purpose is to screw you over and lose your data. There are only two types of hard drives, those that have screwed you and those that will screw you. Only two types of hard drives, those that are dead and those that will die. Okay, if you do not have a backup and archive redundancy plan, you are screwed. You are so screwed. Okay, let's take a look at this hard drive on the right. You notice this? These older hard drives actually use glass platters instead of like these, which are uh, uh, plated uh, aluminum platters. And by the way, the, uh, the surface roughness on a modern hard drive platter, these make actually wonderful photographic tools because the surface roughness on these is less than one nanometer. They are perfect special effect tools. But these are actually tempered glass. This old one here looked exactly like the one on the left. If I were to turn the lights off, you could probably see it shine a light through there. You can actually see into the hard drive itself. What happened to all the data? Why, this was a server drive, a server hard drive. All the coding, all the data spun off as dust covering the inside of this hard drive. I've probably seen like a dozen of these really cool looking right no it's a server hard drive because it has an aluminum voice coil versus a copper voice coil over here aluminum vo voice coil obviously weighs less than copper this one spins up at 10,000 rpm and since the hard drive armature or actuator depending on who you talk to I always call it an armature is spinning back and forth all the time super fast and the hard drive spinning at 10,000 rpm it has lower inertia because it's made out of aluminum instead of copper like this one. So all server grade hard drives have aluminum voice coils in it like this. Anyway, this is the armature. Let's go over some of the hard drive parts. Yes, all the data on these discs, you, since you can see all the way through. I wish I could turn the lights off here so you could take a, a look at it. It's, it's really kind of neat. Really pretty. I actually photographed it. You can see all the way through that hard drive. Well, neat's over. Let's go on to talking about hard drive. What makes up a hard drive? What's what? Okay, every hard drive has one of these in the back. It's an air filtration system. In other words, when the hard drive is spinning up, the actual coating that's on here, it's a magnetic layer. It's got a carbon overcoat and a magnetic layer of cobalt and platinum and nickel. It's uh, sputter, chrome, uh, sputter coated over uh, chromium, which provides a a surface grain for high corrosivity. Underneath that is a layer, a thin layer of uh, chromium, and underneath that is the, the aluminum disc. This is a glass disc. Um, but this little filter up here is just like a little desiccant pack. What that does is when it's spinning up, it captures your data. Every hard drive today is currently designed to capture your data like an air filter in this little packet that goes in the corner right here because it's spinning up and uh, eventually the particles that make up the uh, the ferrous uh, right layer of this will spin off and so now the heads on uh, these hard drives, these are older hard drives, would actually ride 100 nanometers above the surface of the hard drive platter. 100 nanometers. Give you perspective, a human hair is 75 5,000 nanometers thick. But guess what, kiddies? Today's hard drives don't ride 100 nanometers above the platter head. You can just think of this like a phonographic needle as a uh, kind of an easy analogy riding above a record player, except there's no pits and grooves, there's only binary magnetic data. You can kind of think of it that way. As a fancy record player, is a really easy analogy. But today's hard drive platters, no, they don't ride 100 nanometers above, which is insanely close. Today's hard drive platters actually ride only 10 nanometers above the hard drive platter. What? Human hair is 75,000 nanometers. You know what that means? 
That's right. So, like I said, the more you know about hard drives, the more you'll be shocked. Also, there's a current new technology now that the hard drive, uh, the heads, actually uh, ride so close to the platter. Let's actually go over some things and point it out here to you. And use, uh, I'm going to use my laser as a pointer. I'm going to use a pair of pliers. I had a needle over here. Here we have our little head at the end of our armature, our voice coil. Here's our neodymium iron boron magnet. There's actually one that sits above that. This is the actuator. And of course here you have your platters. You could have two platters or four. A lot of them today are two or four platters. Uh, some of the helium filled hard drives actually have uh, more than that. And this is your spindle. Underneath your spindle is a motor which is driving up your platters. If this gets out of torque at all, what happens is you have hard drive crash. Okay? Ruins the data, destroys the head. Your data is lost and the best hard drive data recovery expert in the world is not going to get your data back. This is the chassis now on today's uh, current hard drive is a lot smaller but it's a hard drive controller board. You have a motor failure, but even if you're able to swap out this whole spindle, which by the way the slightest speck of dust in there can uh, cause the head to crash. Here over here you have, like I don't have it on this hard drive, here we have, let me zoom in a little bit, we have the parking ramps for the heads when the uh, hard drive is off. I said your armature, your voice coil back here, which is made out of aluminum in the server grade hard drive. And I had a little pin pointer. Oh, well, I eventually found the pin pointer. Awesome. It's always hidden where you can never find anything. Let's take a look at the actuator arm and the voice coil. Here we go. Here we have the copper voice coil. Kind of basically in simplex like on your speaker system. Now you can count to the heads here, one for either side of each platter. Data is written to either side of each platter. You can see this better. We have one disc, two disc, three disc, four disc, and five disc. So we know this one had five discs since there's uh, ten heads here. Let's move out to one side, one disc. We peel it apart, you'll actually see right here real close. I don't have macro for this but there is just a tiny winding of copper around a ferrite head on uh, the uh, the head of the uh, actuator, the armature here. That is what is reading and writing data. Look how flimsy these are. Ones today are actually more flimsy. Now the way they actually solved uh, writing to the hard drive platters at uh, 10 nanometers instead of 100, these rode at 100. What they did is that on current hard drive heads that they did is they stuck in an aerodynamic slider right here which uh, had an aerodynamic profile which causes the head to press down but not so much the actual air movement that would circulate underneath it that circulates underneath it from current hard drives has enough pressure that causes the aerodynamic uh, slider to press up just enough, 10 nanometers. Human hair is 75,000 nanometers. It would push up on the hard drive head just enough, unbelievably thin, to ride a thin cushion of air. Yeah, and you wonder why hard drives fail? Yeah. Remember, uh, voice coil here is aluminum, voice coil here is copper. Higher inertia due to uh, moving mass, since obviously when the actuators are moving back and forth like this extremely fast, aluminum has less mass. That is why these uh, aluminum voice coils are used in server grade hard drives. Um, as a quick little slide, I've got a whole stack of hard drive platters here. As I told you, they make uh, great little uh, lighting reflector tools. I've actually done some neat special effects. Uh, here I am behind the camera. Hi, there's my ugly ass. Um, but let's take a look. This is, video is going to be a two-part series, by the way. Since all your data is stored on hard drives, I thought you'd like to know how's this photography related. I thought you'd like to know how hard drives work. I said the more you know about hard drives, the more you're like, oh my god, I'm so screwed. My data is unsafe. That's right. God is redundancy. You want to talk about the protection of your data? Redundancy is God and backup is not good enough. A backup just means a secondary screw up. It means a backup to your screw up. And unless you have your data archived in multiple locations, multiple platforms, what is a platform? A hard drive is the type of platform. Um, 
SD card is a type of platform. A server is another type of platform. While well, servers are on hard drives, obviously, that's another type of platform because it is not local. Okay, optical is another type of platform. Blu-ray is another type of platform. Anyway, here is the hard drive armature, i.e. actuator and voice call. Writing, it's actually not sitting in there, it's actually floating due to the Lorentz force between the neodymium iron borons that make up the uh, that uh, make up the uh, actuator of the hard drive. It said spindle, armature, actuator, your hard drive platters. These old ones, by the way, uh, I've accidentally broke a few of them. They shatter into a billion pieces. I actually, uh, I swept up the floor God knows how many times. I accidentally broke one of these and it uh, blew up because tempered glass doesn't break. It explodes! I, I had pieces of glass stuck in my foot for like months. Like, oh my freaking God, what a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to go on to a video series number two here really shortly. I'll talk about uh, hard drives, but uh, as a quick little note, I, uh, have, I'm taking this older hard drive, which came out of a teenager's computer, uh, a really old hard drive, an old IBM one, and I'm going to show you what is the makeup of the hard drive of a typical teenager and uh, I figured it out due to logical deduction. 70% uh, of the hard drive, uh, yeah, hardcore, porn, smut, dirty pictures. 15% uh, uh, illegal movies and uh, music downloads. And, uh, oh yeah, 15% homework. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. It was funny to me, damn it. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the, uh, by the way, um, they actually improved uh, the uh, the actuators, the hard drive uh, neodymium iron boron magnet actuators on current hard drives so that they're more precise. However, they're more prone to failure than the older hard drives were. They've actually improved the precision because these old hard drive uh, magnets, these old hard drive neodymiums, um, they've uh, made them more precise since then, since these are only uh, two pole uh, neodymium iron borings here. You can see it under the magnetic uh, viewing film right here. And they've improved the precision, but in the process of improving the precision of the hard drives, uh, neodymium iron borons, what they've done is they've increased the likelihood of uh, magnetic depolarization due to close proximity. What they've done is they've taken a single magnet like this and they've turned it into two magnets by polarizing it not only top to bottom but left to right. And you can see that here. You can see, okay, it's polarized left to right. Yes and no, only on that side. Now if we look at it edge on like this, you can see we have four poles here. One, two, three, four, over there left and right. One, two, three, four. This makes current hard drives more precise, but they make them also more prone to failure. Magnetic depolarization. Actually making uh, four poles out of a single magnet like this due to the magnetization process makes them, like I said, more precise, but more prone to failure. Early on. Early on meaning four, five, six years. Also depends on heat. One thing that kills a magnet is magnetization. Heat! Heat! Uh, okay, we're going to go on to video number two. We're going to talk more about hard drives and you're going to learn everything you wanted to know and probably more than you wanted to know about what a hard drive is and how a hard drive works. And there is only two types of hard drives. Those that hate you and those that will, that will hate you. As, or <laughs> technically, it's those that are dead and those that will die. If you think your data is safe, stored away in a hard drive, uh, on, on a hard drive and you're safe, you're screwed. You're not safe. Watch video.